Okay guys, so before I start this video, I need some coffee because after yesterday what happened to this, I'm just, I don't even know how to start the video, to be honest, I need some coffee. Basically, you can hear me right now to my new microphone, but I, I will just I will drink the coffee and I will jump to the unboxing and stuff like this. So enjoy the video. So in the box you will find two shock mounts, 3.5mm TRS cable to connect it to the camera, 3.5mm TRS cable to connect it to your phone, soft case, and of course microphone. So another thing that I purchased for this perfect vlogging setup, to be honest, it's 18mm uh, wide-angle lens. Uh, as you know, 24mm on Sony ZV-1 is not enough, to be honest. So basically this lens, you can screw it on, on the Sony ZV-1, on this part right here. I can basically um, put also one of my filters, like for example, ND filter. This lens is basically 62 millimeters uh, filter thread. I have two adapters which I can screw on. This one is 62 millimeters, extended to 72 millimeter if I remember my filter is. So basically I can put one on it another and then I can basically screw it on the lens itself. And later on, I can put my ND filter, polarizer filter, whatever filter you have. Depends what you are doing. Like this. So basically now, I don't need to use the um, uh, ND filter from Sony ZV-1 because as you know, it's, I think it's like three stops only. So as you know, when you have the ND filter on, uh, you don't have to change your settings in the camera. You can shoot at f1.2, f1.8, depends what uh, lens do you have. Like I said before, uh, Sony ZV-1 has only, I think, three stops of the ND filter. So this one is the killer because I can basically shoot at 150 of the second f1.8 and the daytime to have this blurry background in 18 millimeters with this lens. And this one is variable ND filter, so I can do however I want. I'll put it now uh, on the camera itself and I will show you in a second how does it look so you can see what kind of setup I want to make. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. The lens, the macro lens on Sony ZV-1 and uh, we need to put the 18 mm on front of it. So let's do it now. Um, as you can see on the screen right now, this is extremely wide, this is what we want in this setup because as you, saw, as you know, Sony ZV-1 isn't that wide, to be honest. So basically you take this part, screw it on front of it, 
um, I realized, I don't know if it's only me or I'm doing something wrong, because I didn't really see any like indicator or an indicator like sign which which side is supposed to put it on and I have kind of difficulties to screw it so uh, we need to somehow manage this okay now now I have it I don't know like I said it's kind of kind of hard to do it um, as you can see this is already kind of bigger so people will probably notice you I'm just checking if it's tight enough and now I wouldn't recommend you to hold the lens, the lens, the camera like this, because this is quite heavy. Another thing, like I said, uh, this is 62 millimeter filter thread. Uh, I removed this before, so it was easier for me to put the rest together. And basically, just screw all of that together, and now we have perfect vlogging setup for not a lot of money, to be honest, because this was for around 50 pounds and uh, the microphone which is right here was around 30 um, so as you can see I can basically use my variable ND filter or I can just remove it and put any other filter I want um, there is one more thing I wanted to mention about this lens you have this button here you can do like this for example press this button here remove it and basically you have this part right here visible so if you don't want to use it you can keep this on i know it looks kind of weird but if you don't want to unscrew this because it's kind of annoying then you can keep it on and basically that's it if you want to put it back of course switch off the camera so you don't have this lens visible and here you have the red dot here you have the red dot so you basically put it like this make sure you hold the button and that's all like i said we are going to test it out right now outside with this setup as it is i will just put the microphone as well so you can see how the whole thing looks like and basically that's it i will show you how does it look with the lens what is happening right here because like i said the weight is on the front of the camera not on the on, on the back i mean not on the front so it will not break uh, so when you switch it on this is what happens there is a mechanical parts inside of this lens so there is no weight on it on the sony zv1 everything works perfectly fine if you zoom in zoom out and it's extremely wide angle let's just take this setup and let's make some little vlog okay guys so i'm in the park right now i think it's the best way to test out the microphone with the windscreen and stuff like this because it's extremely windy right now so let's see how does it perform uh, now I'm talking without any tweaks to be honest uh, in the Da Vinci let me fix the exposure I'm not uh, using any tweaks right now because I want to see how the raw audio sounds like so this is like not edit at all and uh, I will have a walk a bit and then you will hear me with the tweaks from the Da Vinci but let's test out first the microphone from the back how does it sound i will change the exposure a little bit so this is how it sounds when you are talking to the back of the of the um, microphone which is movo vxr10 uh, let me know also how do you like the newer 18 millimeter wide angle i think it's quite good I think it's better if you saw my other videos, I think it's much better, to be honest. I'm using also the UFO2 gimbal, I mean gimbal like, you know, the handle for the camera, so let me have a walk and see what can we do now.
Okay guys, so right now you can hear me with the, all the tweaks I have made in DaVinci. Uh, I'm not going to put the settings to be honest what I changed because it depends on every person's voice. You need to make changes for your voice as well. So there is no point for me to put it on. And uh, basically that's it. So this is how it sounds with all the tweaks. Um, I know road video might go is better. I wanted to test it out, but the thing is it's too big for this vlogging camera. I mean, now it could be better because I have the 18 mm wide angle lens, so it might look normal, but um, I'm giving this to my friend anyways. So yeah, let me know now in the comments, how do you like it? And uh, I will head, out, head uh, home right now because uh, from today, to be honest, when I'm talking right now is Christmas, it's 24 December. So Merry Christmas to you all. That's the first thing as well. And uh, basically that's it. I'll see you uh, from the home. Okay guys, so while going, I've decided to have a little walk to record the noise background to see how this microphone performs when there are cars around me and stuff like this because it will probably block on the street. So let's see how does it work. I'm not sure how how does it work now because I can't hear anything. I will hear it in the post. But as you can as you watch now you can let me know how do you like this to be honest. Okay guys, so this is what the hell happened to my phone, to be honest. It's totally broken. There's nothing I can do with this. I mean, I could, but the repair for that is like, like I said, around uh, 500, I think, so. Guys, I don't know what kind of card it is, but it's sick. Let me just change the... Nice. Okay guys, so that's all for the whole video. Uh, I tried to make it as short as possible to be honest, but from other side I want to show you as much as possible. So you will know how these two things, the Movo VXR10 and newer 18mm wide angle lens work. Um, I think now is the best way to buy gifts, so if you know somebody who is using Sony ZV-1, and he also was struggling like me with the recording because it wasn't wide enough i think four millimeters to be honest it's too too much i mean it's not too much it's quite a lot and the difference as you saw in the video and if you watch previews of my videos when i was recording myself um you can see the difference i forgot to be honest unscrew it and make the comparison but you know how it is anyways in the movo vxr10 uh, it's good microphone, you know, the best one, but for this price of range, like 30 pounds, it's also not the worst. I think you can buy even worse microphone if you want. And one more thing I want to remind you about my presets because I almost finished them. Um, it will be 100 presets with 15 for, uh, raw files, uh, which I took, so you can edit them, but uh, if you want to post them, of course, you will have to tag me uh, on the Instagram and um, basically that's it I'm your moody guy and I'll see you in the next one by the way stay moody and Merry Christmas I'm kidding no, don't be moody at Christmas just enjoy your day and stay with family and friends so I'm going to cry in the corner because I broke this phone see you